Hey guys, Dennis Courtney, CEO of Streamworks. I'm here with our Director of Programming, Gavin yes, Bentley, and our Director of Personnel, Quentin Faulkner. And what we thought would be really fun to do is to start doing a monthly STEM video on YouTube that highlights all the cool stuff in the STEM world. So the name of our program currently is That Great American STEM Show. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of information. Uh, Quentin's gonna be our news guy. He'll talk to you more about that later, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Plus we're gonna throw in some challenges that you can use in the classroom or maybe at home for, you know, for fun. Uh, and actually we've got a challenge today that's gonna to kind of go with our next year's RDL, Robot Drone League game, Mindshaft. Yeah? Yeah, so the challenge today is gonna to be going into the Mindshaft, flying a drone through it and popping a balloon. What are, you, what are you gonna do, Quentin? Yeah, so I'll be talking about a two-minute segment, but probably about what's new in STEM. So that's gonna be a really cool segment, and you'll get to learn some cool STEM. And then Gavin's gonna follow it up with a. Did you know? Did you know? No, I didn't. <laughs> but we're getting ready to find out, right? Yeah, cool. We're know. But thank you guys for joining us, and we look forward to having some fun. Remember to follow us on Streamworks on our Facebook page and our social media. We actually got a TikTok now. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying it, but we got a TikTok. Yeah, we have a TikTok. TikTok. What's, the, what's the name of the TikTok? Uh, just Streamworks. You can find it at Streamworks underscore education. Okay, Streamworks yeah. education, and of course, Robot Drone League. And so, yeah. all right, well, cool. Well, thank you all for joining in, and give us a thumbs up, okay? Appreciate you. Welcome to What's New in STEM. I'm your host, Quentin, the segment where we explore the new and exciting discoveries in STEM. NASA's 2024 Big Idea Challenge focuses on inflatable systems for lunar operations, urging student teams to innovate concepts for cost-effective space missions. Inflatable systems offer reduced payload masses crucial for deep space delivery. The challenge consists of exploring various inflatable components. The selected teams can receive awards ranging from $50,000 to $150,000. The goal is to advance technology readiness levels for future lunar missions under NASA's Artemis program. At 5.42 a.m. on Saturday, January 20th, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft autonomously docked with the International Space Station, marking SpaceX's third crewed mission to the ISS. The multinational crew, representing the U.S., Italy, Turkey, and Sweden, will undertake over 30 scientific experiments and demonstrations during their stay on the orbiting laboratory. A recent study suggests that success of migrating monarch butterflies is tied to the size of the white spots on their wings. Unlike non-migratory species, successful migrants have larger white spots creating a patchwork of heating and cooling that reduces drag during flight. While further research is urged for aerodynamic measurements, the findings could inspire engineering applications. Applying the butterfly wing patterns to drones may enhance efficiency, allowing for increased payload capacity. The subtle size difference in the spots have potential implications for the insect success. DreamWorks is hosting the third annual Robot Drone League competition at ETSU's Center for Physical Activity on January 27th. There will be 30 teams competing in this year's competition, Scarecrow. Scarecrow is focused around food scarcity, agricultural technology, and synthetic biology. The American Security Drone Act of 2023 prohibits the federal government from using or procuring unmanned aircraft systems made or assembled by certain foreign entities. Agencies must track existing inventories from covered entities. The Office of Management and Budget will create a government-wide UAS procurement policy focusing on information security. The bill mandates a report on the supply chain for the specific UAS and terminates five years after the enactment. That's it for today's news. Thank you all for listening. Hey guys, Mr. C again. Hey look, our monthly challenge, what we came up with, is the Golden Drone. So for our winner of the staff competitions, to show you that, hey, STEM can be fun, but gotta have that competitive element to it, right? So we're gonna award the winner the golden drone, and then of course the loser, you know, what happens? We came up with, instead of calling it a consequence, we're gonna call it extra credit, right? So stay tuned for more. You're gonna hear all about the first STEM challenge that we're getting ready to see. Did you know that drones assist in environmental monitoring in mining regions? In South America, drones equipped with thermal cameras are used to track changes in vegetation and wildlife habitats. All right, so here's our challenge field. This is our simulated mine shaft, and we also have at the end, we have the balloon here. And so we actually got some inspiration from a known fact back in the day. In the old coal mines, they would actually have birds in there 
uh, canaries that would, uh, they when they stopped chirping, you knew that there was a gas leak. So we're simulating the canaries here today with our drones, and uh, we're gonna see who can get through the mine shaft and pop the balloon. It's probably gonna be me. How's that sound? Yeah, I, I'm game. Well, but, so the rules are, you gotta fly through there, go hit the canary. That's right. it? Yeah, that's it. It seems a little too simple. Yeah, I think it does. How about, let's just add a little bit of disorientation to it. Oh, oh, oh disorientation. Yeah, game on. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm close. 20, 23 times, you ready? Yep. One, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four, five. All right, go. <laughs> He's going at you gotta stop yourself. Take off. Alright, yeah. you're going the wrong He's way. He's so calm in here. He's gonna use the camera and put his back to it. You're not gonna beat anybody like that. Oh, what's this? Oh. Did I get it? Nice. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that drones equipped with hyperspectral sensors can detect minerals underground? In Canada, a mining exploration company uses these drones in order to detect specific mineral signatures, helping them locate valuable deposits. All right, close your eyes. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Watch out for the Do your malfunction. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. That looks good. Oh no! Bitch, no, not y'all! I got it. Oh! I know who's getting extra credit. No. <laughs> Alright, we got five spins. Four. Five. Two. Five. Five. Four. Five. Right there. Alright, you gotta stand up. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> All right, folks. We have a winner. Of course, we have a loser. But there's really no losing in Streamworks, is there? No. So, without further ado, the winner of the first STEM challenge at Streamworks, our YouTube channel for the Mineshaft Challenge and Capturing the Canary is... Quentin! Yay! Good job, Quentin. Good job. And I can say I came in second place. There you go, <laughs> Mr. City, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which means our friend here is going to have some extra credit. We'll find out what that extra credit is at the championship award ceremony on January 27th. <laughs>